everyone. How are you doing today? Today we will read a classic story called Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. This is a story of a lovely and sprightly young girl called Madeline. The story has brought joy to all the young children for over 70 years. So let's get started with our story. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poof, poof! And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Khan came, he rushed out to the phone and he dialed DAN TON 10 6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank on her bed there was a crank and a crack on a ceiling had a habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees and sky and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning Miss Clavel said isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from 2 to 4 read a sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and then said, Ah! when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, 
Miss Clever ran fast and faster, and she said, "Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you." And all the girls cried, "Boo hoo! We want to have our appendix out too." Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord, you are well. Now go to sleep," said Miss Clavell, and she turned out the light, and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. The moral of the story is: take care of your health. Always thank God for your good health. Don't compare yourself with anyone. You are unique, and there's no one like you. Celebrate yourself always. The end.